confidence interval approach. So we will try to create a confidence interval for the slope parameter. Our model is y i equals to beta 1 hat plus beta 2 hat xi, right? So we'll try to find out the confidence interval for, for beta 2 hat and we'll do one example. So we start by saying that beta 2 hat is normally distributed with mean beta 2 and sigma square beta 2 hat is the variance. So we always write like this. So when you say that uh, any variable x is normally distributed with mean this and variance this. So the first thing here which we write is the mean and the second thing which we write is the variance, right? Then why we are writing mean of beta 2 hat as beta 2 because we have already proved in the earlier classes that E of beta 2 hat is beta 2, unbiased estimator. What is E of beta 2 hat? Mean of beta 2 hat, expectation of beta 2 hat. So if it is normally distributed, then we can write in terms of the standard normal variate. So how do you write standard normal variate? I hope you remember z is equal to x minus mu upon standard deviation or a standard error here in this case, right? So in our case, what it what this is going to be beta 2 hat minus e of beta 2 hat. What is that beta 2 upon standard error of beta 2 hat? Now standard error of beta 2 hat is what? Your uh, sigma square upon summation of small xi square. But the only problem is that here when you use normal distribution now, you have to use sigma square. Sigma square is population variance. Population variance means variance of the entire population. But you tell me, do you have the entire population data with you? You don't have. You have to depend upon the sample only. Uh, so if you do not have the entire data of the population and you have to depend upon the sample, so what is the estimate of the population variance? Sigma square hat. Sigma square hat is what? Summation of u hat t square. Summation of u hat t square upon n minus 2. What is summation of u hat t square? Residual sum of squares. What is n minus 2? n minus 2 is other degrees of freedom here. N is the total number of observation and Y2 because our model is what? Yi equals to beta 1 plus beta 2 xi. So while estimating beta 1 and beta 2, you have lost 2 degrees of freedom. So that is the reason you have to. If you have, let's say, k parameters to be estimated, then we would have written N minus k. So when you use uh, estimate of the population variance, then you have to use T distribution. And everything else remain more or less same. So you have beta 2 hat minus beta 2 upon standard error of beta 2 hat. But the only difference here is now it is sigma square hat. Here it was just sigma square upon summation of small xi square. And sigma square hat, you know, what is that? This you know because you know the form, you know the, uh, you know the value of RSS, residual sum of squares. Right? Achha. So what, what do we want to test? We want to test that whether our null hypothesis is let's say beta 2 is uh, uh, maybe it is equal to 0 or it is not equal to 0, whatever it is, right? Beta 2 equals to 0. And the alternative is that uh, beta 2 is not equal to 0. Like that we want to test. So we have to create this guy, your... Uh, Interval, na? Uh, so we have to create interval here. We want to test for one for alpha level of significance or one minus alpha confidence coefficient. Confidence coefficient. Alpha kya hai? Level of significance. Right? Manlijay, we have to calculate it for 95% confidence coefficient. So we have to calculate it for 5% level of significance. So when we are doing two-sided test, so we will cut 
फाइव परसेंट अपॉन टू फ्रॉम बोथ द साइड सो टू पॉइंट फाइव परसेंट फ्रॉम हेयर टू पॉइंट फाइव परसेंट फ्रॉम हेयर सो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू कैलकुलेट इट फॉर एल्फा लेवल ऑफ सिग्निफिकेंस वी विल कैलकुलेट इट फॉर एल्फा बाई टू फॉर बोथ द साइड ठीक है सो यू हैव वॉट माइनस टी एल्फा बाई टू लेस देन इक्वल टू टी लेस देन इक्वल टू टी एल्फा बाई टू इज इक्वल टू वन माइनस एल्फा वॉट इज दिस टी टी यू हैव जस्ट रिटर्न वॉट इज दैट बीटा टू हैट माइनस बीटा टू अपॉन स्टैंडर्ड एर ऑफ बीटा टू हैट ठीक है ओके सो कैन यू डू वन थिंग दैट यू कैन राइट देर आर टू केसेस ना वन केसेस वेन दिस गाई इज लेस देन दिस माइनस टी एल्फा बाई टू इज लेस देन दिस टी एंड दी अनदर केसेस When this t is less than t alpha by two, I've written both of them. अब तुम ऐसे लिख सकते हो ना इसको. You can write like minus of standard error of beta two hat t alpha by two less than equal to beta two hat minus beta two. We can write like this. And then I can take this beta two on this side and this guy on this side. So I can write everything in terms of beta two true value of uh, of the parameter we can write that similarly here this guy less than equal to t alpha by 2 i can take this beta 2 here and this guy here right so i will be getting beta 2 hat minus t alpha by 2 standard error of beta 2 hat less than beta 2 so i have i have got this confidence interval huh? so i have written this because yahan pe beta 2 is less than this guy yahan pe beta 2 is greater than this guy So, पहले हमने लिखा बीटा टू ग्रेटर देन दिस एंड देन बीटा टू लेस देन दिस सो वी हैव रिटन दैट सो वी हैव कन्वर्टेड दिस एक्सप्रेशन इनटू दिस दिस एक्सप्रेशन इनटू दिस सो इफ यू लुक एट इट दिस इज नथिंग बट योर कॉन्फिडेंस इंटरवल यही तो है ना कॉन्फिडेंस इंटरवल इफ यू जस्ट हैव अ लुक एट दिस सो वॉट इज दिस बेसिकली बीटा टू हैट प्लस माइनस टी एल्फा बाई टू Standard error of beta two hat. This is there, yeah, yeah. So if you look at it carefully, do you understand this? That higher is the value of this standard error of beta two hat. Higher is the width of the confidence interval. Ah, huh? higher is the standard error. it leads to greater width of confidence interval so what do you mean by what do we mean by this you understand one thing you are calculating this confidence interval in order to precisely estimate uh, so this standard error is also the measure of precision of the estimate measure of precision of the estimate so if you say oh i have a confidence interval which is running from 0.2 to 0.95 is that better or you have a confidence interval which is uh, which is from 0.2 to 0.22 lesser is the confidence interval lesser in the uncertainty in the estimate ha huh? so you can precisely estimate then so uh, higher is a standard error higher is the or greater is the uncertainty greater is the uncertainty you with me okay so now here i have taken one example for you you look at it carefully you have this guy uh this uh, yi hat is equal to minus 0.014 plus 0.7240 xi so this is beta 1 hat plus beta 2 hat xi like this number of observations are 13 standard error is 0.07700 uh, and standard 
error how do you estimate so your sigma square hat is what summation of u hat t square upon n minus 2 okay and for the standard error you of course you just take the root of this because you have the variance in us for standard error you just take the root of this so, and you know what is summation of u hat t square rss that value is given to you and we've calculated that already let's say it is 0 0.7 0 0.07 what is the degrees of what are degrees of freedom n minus 2 what is n n is 13 why we have written 2 because there are two parameters to be estimated so you're losing on two degrees of freedom if there are more, let's say if there are k parameters to be estimated, then instead of n minus 2, you would have written n minus k. Here you are writing n minus 2, right? 95% confidence coefficient. Now look at it carefully, right? Now look at it carefully. So you have this guy here, let's say. So just, just have a look at this. I don't know where to put it. I hope you guys can see this. Okay. And maybe that has gone. Behaves very erratically. I'm sorry about that. <clears throat> yeah. So this is the T distribution, right? Now we want to calculate it for 95% confidence coefficient. What is the level of significance? 5%. We have to calculate it at both the ends now. So if alpha is 5%, what is alpha pi 2 equal to? 2.5%. So I have taken out this. So we will calculate it for 2.5%, 0.025. And for this guy, right? For this guy. So I can calculate it now. For, for this guy means 11 degrees of freedom. So it is this. Approximately what? Two point. 201, 2.201, 2.201. You just have to calculate this. Up to it is very easy. Uh, so you have what? 0 0.7240 plus minus T alpha by 2 is what? 2.201 into standard error is what? 0 0.07. So once you calculate this, you will get what? 0. 7240 plus minus 0 0.1540. So that means what? 0 0.7240 plus 0 0.1540, comma 0 0.7240 minus 0 0.1540. Hey, yoga na? So what is this? This guy is. 0 0.5700 and this guy is 0 0.8780. So we have got the confidence interval here. What is the interpretation of this confidence interval? Interpretation of this confidence interval is that in rip long run repeated sampling in 95 out of 100 cases we can construct an interval like this which will contain the true value of parameter beta 2. It does not mean this that this particular interval will contain true value of beta 2 because see if true value of beta 2 is let's say uh, 0 0.5 then this is not containing this that probability is 0. If true value of beta 2 is let's say 0 0.6 then this is containing this this interval that probability is 1. But that is not the interpretation. We are only saying this, that in, the, that in the long run repeated sampling, in 95 out of 100 cases, we will be able to construct such intervals which will contain true value of beta 2. That is the point. Are you with me, all of you? Right? So this is what I wanted to do in this class. Thank you, Vitara.